That, of course, is the other news of the day. Uh, we would normally be right in the middle of world news tonight for uh, many of the uh, affiliates that uh, carry this broadcast. Uh, we are not because we are and have been since early this afternoon covering live the events relating to the shooting, which involved President Reagan. Uh, he was hit by a bullet, has been in surgery for the better part of two and a half hours now. Uh, our last information was that his condition is good and stable, that he is expected to recover. Uh, but also our last word was that he was still in surgery. Uh, then there is the case of Jim Brady, the White House press secretary. He was uh, hit in the head by a same small caliber bullet. His condition is not as good. His condition is said to be grave. Uh, and then there are the, uh, then there are the uh, Secret Service agent, Timothy McCarthy, whose condition is said to be good, and Thomas K. Delahanty, a 45-year-old D.C. policeman. He is in serious condition four men who were shot this afternoon. Vice President Bush, I'm told, has just landed here in Washington. He was uh, engaged in a, uh, uh, a speaking uh, appointment in Texas. As soon as he heard the information, uh, uh, the first word was that the president had not been hit by a bullet, so there was some question as to whether the vice president would come back. Uh, but then word reached the vice president on a refueling stop in Austin that the president had been hit, and he came back. Again, we realize that many of you who have seen the tape we're now about to show you many times if you've been with us over the afternoon, but also many of you have not. Here it is, the president emerging from a speaking engagement at the Washington ho uh, Hotel earlier this afternoon. And any second now, the shots will begin. There. That cluster of bodies, policemen, Secret Service agents, and they have, under that pile of bodies, the man who is accused of the shooting, John W. Hinckley, believed to be in his early 20s. And in that brief scattering of gunshots, and in those few seconds, the president was hit, his press secretary was hit, a Secret Service agent was hit, and a DC policeman was hit. And at the time, because the president was immediately pushed into his limousine and sped away, it was believed there's Jim Brady lying on the ground. It was believed that the president had not been hit. And then subsequently we were told that he had not returned to the White House, but had gone to the hospital. And again, the information was that the president had gone to the hospital out of solicitude for those who had been uh, actually injured. And then came the announcement. Now, oh, goodness. momentarily, Frank, we will see uh, Hinckley being bodily carried by the Secret Service and police uh, to a police car. Hinckley, we're now told, is 25 years old. He is currently being held at D.C. police headquarters. He's been interrogated already by the uh, Secret Service. You'll just see the top of his head in a moment as he is carried face down toward a police car. President Reagan, I'm told, is still in surgery. There is now a report that uh, he will be in there until about 7 p.m. Eastern time, which would be 25 minutes from now. That would mean that he actually will be in about uh, three hours, so somewhat in excess of that. There again, you see in the foreground Jim Brady, and uh, the, uh, the body that you see lying in the back there belongs to Secret Service uh, agent Timothy McCarthy. He is now in good condition. Mr. Brady is not. Here they go with us. Now there you just saw the top of uh, Hinckley's head. Can't really see him. Uh, he's face down there. Just now they're going to take him to another car. This is a videotape, we must remind you. It's not happening now. It happened to shortly after 2.30 this afternoon. We can get a look, though, at the man that they do have in custody. We have a couple of pictures of him, uh, one of his high school uh, graduation. We understand this was taken in 1972, is that right? John Warnock Hinckley. He is 25 years old. There is a college yearbook picture. Where did he go to college? I didn't have any information before that uh, he had uh, he'd gone. He went, on to, he went to Texas Tech. Well, I, I have a feeling, Frank. That's his driver's license picture, yeah. and I have a feeling we're going to be finding out everything about this young man uh, that uh, can possibly be gathered. This particular picture was taken this year, 1981. Yes. 
We have a report from our Dallas affiliate, WFAA, reporting, uh, and I, not, well, I don't know the source of that information, but I'm sure that if they, they're reporting it, they're sure of it, that uh, it's believed that Hinckley bought two 22 caliber handguns in October, October 13th of uh, last year, 1980, that was before the election, for $47 each at a Dallas pawn shop called Rocky's Pawn Shop. Dallas. Of all cities. Yes, right? of all cities. Although the gun that was used in Dallas was not purchased in Dallas, uh, if you recall. That was purchased from a mail order house in Chicago. And it and should be that, pointed uh, out before we get into the handgun controversy, and that undoubtedly is going to come up in the in the days and weeks ahead, that that particular gun, of course, was not a handgun. That was a rifle. Yes. Uh, this information, was, though. This was. Yeah. But this uh, information being handed again, we pointed out that uh, Mr. Hinckley had gone to Texas Tech. Apparently, he attended Texas Tech for just one semester in 1973. He is now being held at D.C. Police Headquarters. Just to bring you up to date once again on where everybody is right now, the president uh, is still in surgery, expected to be in surgery for a few more minutes. He's been there since about 4 o'clock Eastern time. In other words, almost three hours in surgery. Uh, Mr. Brady... Uh, the president's press secretary has also been in surgery. Uh, the prognosis for him is not very good. In fact, uh, earlier this afternoon, we showed you a videotape of Ross Simpson, a uh, mutual reporter who had spoken to one of the doctors on the floor uh, where both the, uh, both the president and the, uh, and the press secretary were brought. And this doctor said the prognosis for Jim Brady, and I emphasize this is the press secretary, the prognosis for him is not good that few people survive such a wound. But there have been reports earlier today that Mr. Brady had already died. That is not true. He is still undergoing surgery, but he is in very bad condition. And we should expect... Uh